fastest lap is spectacular. It's tunnel vision, on the limit, everything is perfect, and it's a, it's a great feeling. People ask always uh, questions, uh, how do you do this or that, but this sounds a bit silly sometimes because uh, I, don't, I don't think it that way. When it happens kind of more automatically and you don't think about it, this, that's how it should be, otherwise if you have to think about it a lot, I think it's, it's something is not right, but uh, um, I, I just try to go basically as, as fast as I can and keep the speed up. I think it's the ambition the drivers have. That's sport. Everyone is competing against each other, so it's important to drive the fastest lap and see who's the fastest. And that's how it should be, despite of all the technology and events we have. The circumstances that actually make it happen are an empty car and a fresh set of tires towards the end of the race, and that usually delivers the fastest lap. Every little bit on the car makes a difference. So, it, you know, it, it's not just the guys building the car, it's what's done back at the factory. The drivers are all on the edge. You could see in, in Monza, the times were very close. There was only a couple of tenths between, so like, the top five or six cars. Who is doing the best lap time? Who's the one having a perfect moment then? World champions, drivers of top teams, rookies, backmarkers, all of them can drive the fastest lap in the race. And that's the exciting thing about the DHL Fastest Lap Award for me. Sometimes uh, if you're in a position in a race that you don't have to push, uh, in, in the end, it's always the best, the best thing if you can be in the front or, or sometimes there's a big gap between you and the next guy and there's no way to catch it. Today, aerodynamics are uh, the most important part. There is also the understanding of the, of the tyres, which is, uh, again, not easy. Obviously, the fastest lap is a, a little bit of the icing on the cake, like you say. In secret, you often count on the fastest lap, if you're fast enough, of course. It's all about prestige. Well, don't forget, there's a lot of pride involved. If two of your drivers are leading a race, you don't want them to play or go fast. You just want them to finish the race and take the trophy home. Sebastian and Mark, they gave each other hell in that respect. The 2013 World Championship has been decided, but three races from the end, the DHL Fastest Lap Award remains tense. In Japan, Weber already managed to close the gap, and in India, Raikkonen beat Vettel's time at the last moment. In the internal duel between the Red Bull drivers, it remains 6-4 in the Germans' favour.